Hey everyone, it's Mayhemmer for FTO Nerd News. Once again, we're back into my lovely sewing room. I'm a little low key this time, just rocking some Star Wars. Um, unfortunately, uh, I can't give y'all all face all the time. I have to tease you with it. One day, oh natural, the other day, full face. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. First of all, let's talk about Zack Snyder. He will be releasing the Justice League Snyder Cut in 2021. He said that he is just gonna go no holds barred, no compromises, no nothing. Yes, I did use a double negative because that's how lit it's gonna be. He's not playing any games. He will definitely be doing everything that he wants with this cut in his version of Justice League that he wants to release next year. So here's hoping that we'll get that out on a timely date and then we will get a real date for it soon. Next up I wanna talk about is streaming. Not just streaming, but TV streaming. So we're gonna go into some things that have been announced. First of all, did you know that there was a Lord of the Rings TV show that was supposed to happen on Amazon Prime? If not, now you do. So uh, apparently they will be resuming filming when they can down in New Zealand uh, as soon as they can. Um, so it's all of, of course it's to deal with their uh, quarantine availability and the studio production time and stuff like that but they have been given the okay that they can start filming again in new zealand so they're gonna hopefully have that ball rolling there is no release date for the show on prime yet but they've been spending a lot of money buying these rights for the show apparently the jrr tolkien um scholar that was with other things has stepped away from the project so let's just hope that hopefully they keep it going next up netflix y'all who knows about the cowboy bebop live action i have been stalking that since i heard about it the good news is they too have been giving rights to start resuming filming with caveats of being safe so let's just hope that they are able to do their filming how they want to do do it in a safe manner and not put anybody at risk but still put out some quality entertainment because you know your girl like me stuck in quarantine, I could use some TV, but not at the expense of other safety. So let's just hope that they can do this in a safe manner if they're choosing to do this, that it's not rushed, that they're not jumping the gun, all right? So one more thing I wanted to talk about because I just felt like I wanted to bring it up. Resident Evil. That's right. It's the conclusion to the story of Resident Evil 7. It's gonna be called Resident Evil Village. There is a trailer out, there is a teaser for it. I highly suggest that you write, uh, watch it because what I say is you need to pay attention to it. Even Capcom said that you need to pay attention to the trailer. So 10 out of 10 would recommend, keep that trailer, check it out, go see what's going on. So once again, this has been May Hammer for FTO Nerd News. Be sure to follow me at Twitch at twitch.tv slash the mayhemmer. That way you can catch all my nerdy streaming for things that are selling and cosplay and crafty. And I might be sipping wine and scotch at the same time. Yes, I said wine and scotch. So it's 18 plus because mama's going to be talking like an adult. All right, guys. See you soon and hope to see you next week.